you can clap, you can take pictures, you can uh, stand up and walk by, you can uh, do this, you can do this, you can shake his hands, you can pat him on the back. We do this one year with a, with a model, that uh, supermodel that escorted Gary out here. We didn't have her in the budget this year, maybe next time. <laughs> so many old friends and make some new friends and uh, before we get started we will have the traditional switching of the laptops so bear with us here just a minute like this so there's our updraft cyclonic rotation on the south flank any cyclonic rotation on the there north is the flank. cyclonic member in the background to the north there's the clear slot from the rear flank downdraft any cyclonic rotation here to the south Looking up the back side of the very rear portion of a supercell, there's the clear slot from the rear flank downdraft. Looking to the east here, anticyclonic to the north, or cyclonic to the north, anticyclonic to the south. Coming in on the back side of the rear flank downdraft area, back side of the mesocyclone area of a supercell. And putting into time lapse, there's the cyclonic rotation. Hopefully it shows up okay with the uh, light on the screen. Here comes the rear flank downdraft, the clear slot clearing out this area, anticyclonic rotation down here to the south. We'll have a couple slides on safety at the end of the program. Don't drive that fast. <laughs> Looking off to the northeast, cyclonic member in the background, clear slot from the rear flank downdraft, anticyclonic here in the foreground, even producing some anticyclonic funnel clouds as the, the anticyclonic vortex lines get stretched. And again, if these vortex lines are persistent enough, if the updraft and stretching is strong enough, we can get anticyclonic tornadoes. Notice the rotation and the lowering up here right to left across the front, backward from what we expect with regular uh, uh, rotating wall clouds, anticyclonic tornado here, a large rain-wrapped uh, EF3 tornado further off to the north. And get into position and see what we need to see. So a question just quizzing the audience. This case study that we went through, the SPC mesoanalysis graphics and the like, uh, does anybody know what day this was that we were looking at? Fantastic. <laughs> Pretty significant day across northern Oklahoma and up into a good portion of central Kansas. Very long-lived, long-track supercells that moved across the area. A couple of pictures uh, from up north of Wichita, Kansas, uh, courtesy of the uh, National Weather Service in Wichita. And the, there are spotters up there. Uh, this was up north of Wichita, uh, actually. This was actually the uh, storm near Manchester, Oklahoma, right as it was crossing the Kansas line from Oklahoma. And then a little bit further southwest, a little earlier in the day, a couple of pictures from our good friend Tim Marshall, who was up in the Cherokee, Oklahoma area. And again, uh, looks like certainly a cyclic uh, supercell there, with the old tornado, or one tornado here, another tornado back in here, and a couple in progress there. So very significant day that we were looking at. And again, a lot of the parameters uh, came together uh, as advertised and feared uh, on, this, on, on this day. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tessa. Happy birthday to you. Instead of having, you know, this is me, instead of having yourself photographed with presidents and governors, you're photographed with Harold Taft, <laughs> David Hoadley, or some other tornado hero. 
this is what I was telling. I, I know there's people here from Channel 4. I know there's people here from the National Weather Service. I don't mean this in a derogatory fashion, but I was talking to Harold Taft one time, and I mentioned watching Channel 4 weather. And he stopped me, looked at me, and he said, Bobby, why were you watching Channel 4 weather? And I said, well, I watch Channel 4 weather because it's entertaining. I watch Channel 11 weather because I want to know what the National Weather Service predicts. And then I watch you on Channel 5 to see what the weather is really going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was a friend for, of Harold Taft till the end of his life. <laughs> This is another one I did. You choose the location of your home, ensuring that you have a real clear view of the west and south. <laughs> Seasonal stress disorder is particularly tough on you during the winter time when there's no tornadoes to look at. You have at least one weather app on your smartphone. <laughs> After hearing everything I've told you about the tornadoes I've been in, the tornadoes I've seen in my family history, every one of you want me to go chasing with you, chasing with you. <laughs> storm on Earth, just where they can advance the science and provide people with warnings. You might be a tornado hero. You drive 700 miles in one day, eat greasy fast food, sleep little, and never complain, just because you want to protect one house from being caught unaware. You invest your money in communication devices, weather radios, sophisticated laptops with 4G capability, gasoline, which is ever, ever more expensive, and you risk severe damage to your personal vehicle. You literally surround your individual communities during threatening weather, physically surround them. Not for the thrill, but just to keep a sleeping town from devastation. You spend your days off going to seminars to learn more. Be close to like-minded individuals, exchange experiences, train others. You provide encouragement to newcomers, and you're part of a very elite group of people because there's really not very many people like you in the world that want to go out there and do that. You save lives, there's no question about that. You reduce people's fear. You make them more comfortable knowing that you're out there. You give them hope. You inspire students. There's a lot of young people in here today, and that's absolutely great because that's that's tomorrow. They're going to learn. They're going to. We cannot imagine what tools we're going to have 30, 